So you're hosting a holiday party. It's Christmas. It's Thanksgiving. It's New Year's. You're serving a whole bunch of food and you don't know what wine goes with it. You got to serve wine because that's the only classic thing to do. So I'm here at Venice Reverie with Igor. We're going to break it down for you and give you some pro tips on what to serve with your holiday dinner. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wine by the Day TV. I'm your host, George Machara. We are here at Vinus Reverie once again. Good friend Igor, he's back for another uh, another round of punishment. We're going to talk about uh, what to do during the holidays. You're serving wine at a party. You're going to a party. you got to bring wine. You don't know what goes with turkey. You don't know what goes with ham. You don't know what goes with whatever. Well, this man here does, so we're going to explore it together. Um, how you doing? Hey, George, nice it's to see you again. Yes, yes, nice to see you. <laughs> and, and it's always good to see you. And it's not a punishment. I enjoy doing this. And it's going to be a blast. Okay, cool. So, you know, uh, obviously uh, Thanksgiving, uh, I think so, some of the rules uh, for uh, Thanksgiving parents, you want uh, high acidity. Uh, so, so wise, you know, Pinot Noir is high acidity. Uh, Gamay grape on the red side it has high acidity. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, great acidity. Riesling, dry, especially dry Riesling, it's a... Uh, Unbelievably versatile uh, uh, wine pairing. Could uh, you serve a Riesling with like a ham? Do you think? Yeah, right with a pineapple. I thing think. On yeah, yeah, you yeah think right, right. I think your service uh, uh, Riesling is as uh, versatile as it gets. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna uh, show uh, and um, share a couple of traditional wines, but I think we're gonna start out actually tasting some fun wines. Another great uh, high acidity grape is Chenin Blanc. Uh, it originated in the Loire Valley in the kind of central France. Uh, the most famous village for it is Bouvray. So Bouvray is always associated with uh, uh, Chenin Blanc. And Chenin Blanc is actually uh, just as versatile as Riesling in both the pairings and the way you can make it. You can make it sparkling, you can make it dry, off dry, uh, and uh, sweet. So you can make it every single style. Uh, but the other place in the world that makes fantastic Chenin Blanc is South Africa. And this is the example we're gonna have. From a great producer, Stark Condi, so this is their higher end uh, um, uh, uh, Chenin Blanc, but you know, I think let's pour it out and taste it out. So from a great producer, like, like I mentioned, Star Condi, he makes a lot of different wines. I think Chenin is his specialty, but he also makes uh, Syrah, Sauv Blanc, um, but we're gonna taste this one. Now Chenin Blanc suffers from a, uh, a marketing issue. Not too many people think of Chenin Blanc. Mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned Sauvignon Blanc, and it's all over the world. I mean, yes. all over the when I say all over the world, yes. In terms of the stores, like it's everywhere. Right. Everyone's drinking Sauvignon Blanc. Chenin Blanc does not have that mm -hmm. uh, tr kind of traction, but it's silly. What year is this anyway? This is a twenty twenty one. Yes. Okay. From Junkashore Valley. Yes. So is that northern? Uh, no, so so everything's uh, in the southwest part of uh, uh, South Africa. So, so that's where you, you have the Cape, close to the water. So the majority of the wine regions are, are, are in southwest. Mm. Um, and you can uh, taste it right away, the acidity just jumps out of you. And, and the fruit is just like, oh yeah, this is going to pair with a lot of great uh, you know, traditional dishes. Yeah, but not overly acidic. Like there's definite acidity, but it's not like um, sharp. It's a, yeah, and it's a very pleasing acidity. And Chenin Blanc is, is to me is like a medium bodied grape versus like a Riesling or Sauv Blanc, which are light bodied. And, and I think that acidity maybe because it looks sharper. Uh, and here you have uh, kind of the, the structure of the wine softening the acidity. How much is this bottle? How, what are you charging for this? This is a $30 bottle. $30, yes. okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely reasonable. And this is one that you can impress someone uh, that's like a wine person that might not be aware Yes, of this particular growing region. I mean, they might know of Chenin Blanc, and probably get it from you know, like you say, from France, from the Loire Valley. Yeah. But they're not very familiar with this. So, if you want to impress somebody that you think is a little too snooty and they always have the right answers as far as wine goes, try this one. This yeah. is this is really pleasant. This is this is a really nice wine. And you, uh, George, to, to to mention what you were saying about Sauvignon Blanc, uh, I think the reason Sauvignon Blanc is so popular is because uh, uh, the American uh, wine drinking public they're familiar with grapes. They know Cabernet, Zinfandel, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Europe, uh, it goes by regions. So like I said, Bouvray, a lot of Bouvray bottles, you won't see that it's Chenin Blanc. Sancerre, many people don't even know that Sancerre is Sauvignon Blanc. Right, exactly. A lot of people I come across think Sancerre is actually great. Chablis. Yeah. People think Chablis is, is a great. A great. Yeah. It's Charnay from the Chablis region in France. Right. So I think the re it's because uh, uh, there's kind of a little bit of education that needs to be done. Uh, that's why Chenin Blanc falls behind. It's not because it's not great. It's fantastic. I'm still tasting this wine, by the yes. way. Yeah. Um, and then, now there's a little bit of a little saltiness too, just yes. a little bit on the back end, which I like. This is very good. This is a good wine. I mean, thirty dollars. I mean, I don't like white wine. Look, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my. I drink it, but I wouldn't buy a ninety-two point white wine shirt. Mm. So I mean, I don't like white wine, and I say that a lot. Yeah. But luckily, I've been able to find some really good ones, and this guy yes. has brought a really nice second one. And I can see why you say this goes good with like a turkey. Yes. Um, you know something that's a little bit more hearty maybe even like a soup yeah if you did like a like a white bean soup right this would go really well with that also so yeah that's awesome and, and i want to mention so not all shane blinds are made the same so i pulled up this particular wine because it's from a great producer who knows what he's doing uh mass produced shane blanc won't taste this good some winemakers uh have specific sites where they grow their grapes and those grapes uh, uh, produce a more complex wine. So, you know, it's, it's hand in hand. It's not just a, a random Chenin Blanc is going to taste this good. No, and I'd say that's true of almost every wine. Yeah. You yeah. want to get as micro as you can in yeah. terms of growing area. Yes. When you, see, when you see something like in California that says California. Yes. I mean, that could be from anywhere. Yes. It could be from like these huge. Central Valley. Yeah. Land, Central Valley, bad weather conditions, super hot. And you're getting, you know, you're getting subpar fruit. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why it's nine dollars or eleven dollars or whatever. Spend a little more and enjoy your wine, and you'll impress some people. This is really awesome. Um, awesome. Don't forget, he has a, a website. I'm going to put a link in the description box. I'm going to be Chiron down here. So don't forget to check out his website for all the wines that we're talking about and much, much more. Uh, Venice Reverie. What is, what is it? Is it VeneceReverie.com? Yeah. Okay. So easy enough. And again, like I said, I'll have all his contact information in the description box below. Also, if you need to buy any kind of uh, any kind of gear uh, to make your holiday party go smoother, like uh, wine glasses, wine openers, wine bags, whatever, uh, decanters, um, I'm going to leave links in the description box. If you follow those links, you can get great prices on Amazon for all that stuff. You're going to be ready for all of your holiday parties that way. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go. We got a red, huh? Okay. Well, we're going to be civilized today, and we're going to dump. Because we it's it's early on in the day and we both have things to do so we can't yeah, possibly that, yeah. yeah we can't possibly do this okay what's our next one all here? right something from Sardinia I love it yeah it's uh, I think something even more fun so let me pour this so yeah, this is rinse uh, first let me just rinse real quick absolutely so it's um, Canal di Sardinia so Canal di Sardinia is another name from Grenache. Uh, in fact Sardinians believe that Grenache actually originated in Sardinia. <laughs> Then it moved over to Spain, and then it traveled uh, uh, to the Southern Rhone, uh, where its uh, most famous uh, village for that is Chateau de Pop. That's where a lot of you know, the most famous GSMs are, Grenache, yeah, 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 right. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is 100% Grenache, and when Grenache uh, is not blended in, it's um, it's kind of a higher alcohol grape, but it's very soft. Uh, and it's uh, light, it has great acidity too. So I think uh, Grenache uh, by itself is one of the best food pairing partners uh, in the world. A lot of people uh, think Pinot might be the ultimate red wine to pair with uh, uh, for versatility. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Grenache is right there. From Sardinia, uh, the other great place is from San Gredos Mountains, which is west of Madrid, uh, more so than the Chenin de Pops. Those wines are richer, those wines need like more red meat, but I think this Grenache is very versatile. Well, Sardinia is an island off of Italy, uh, near Sicily. It's a little bit more north of Sicily, um, but it's a very well-known area in Italy. And frankly, it wouldn't surprise me, I've never been to Italy, even though, you know, whatever. Uh, if you're Italian and you do the seven fishes thing for Christmas, this would go great with that. Because if you're doing like a seafood salad, uh, if you're doing a calamari, something like that, or you're doing um, the dried fish, bacala. Thank you. No, you're, doing ba yeah. <laughs> if you're doing bacala. You know, you can do bacala white. You can do it with red sauce. There's a lot of different ways to go. This wine would work with pretty much all of your seafood bearings, as well as like a lighter yeah. main course. So I think this is a good way to go. All right. Um, so the fun, let me just say some fun facts about Sardinia. So uh, Sardinia is one of those uh, blue zones where they have, I think, uh, uh, the most uh, centenarians in the world. 
And one of the uh, uh, things that I read about in Sadin is that they drink kinda now three times a day, you know, like a one, two ounce pours. And apparently, you know, it, it helps them live for such a long time. Yeah. So it's not only a delicious wine, and, and that pairs well with Thanksgiving dishes, it's also a healthy wine. The healthiest wine in the world, you, you could argue. And you, could, you I think you're looking at how light it is. Yes, absolutely. And what a great combination of fruit and acidity on this wine. 14.5 alcohol yeah. by volume, by the way. And it doesn't and taste that mention, way. This is 13%. The, uh, the Chenin Blanc is 13 alcohol by volume. I just didn't want to gloss <laughs> over that. But yeah, the color is super light. I don't know if you're able to see it. Very translucent. I mean, like a light cranberry flavor. It doesn't have a whole lot of nose, though, I have to be honest. Let's see if we can pop it a little bit. Although we just opened this bottle, so it's not really fair. Yeah, a little bit more nose now. So to me, uh, the, the alcohol, that's to be expected, but it's not uh, like sometimes you get the Napa caps that hit like four and a half, fifteen percent You feel the heat, uh, uh, the, there's no heat here. No, there's no heat, no. Uh, if you told me this was even 13 and a half, yep. I would believe you. Yep. And again, this bottle just got open. Normally we like to open two hours, but yep. he's got a store to run. We can't keep wine open all day and all night. You know what I mean? We'll retaste in two hours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you let me know how it is. <laughs> yeah, That's this is very one, pleasant. Yeah. Very yeah. pleasant. Absolutely super light. So I, I think, you know, as I was mentioning in the beginning, I think acidity uh, is the key to the wines. Uh, so when you're looking to pair, I, I would say, uh, there's probably wines that you shouldn't uh, uh, think about, uh, and that's Cabernet, probably shouldn't be thinking about, Malbec, Zinfandel, uh, those wines I think are too powerful, they'll, they'll overpower traditional Thanksgiving dishes. Unless you're doing like yeah. a prime rib or right. lasagna or something like right. that, but yeah, your Thanksgiving, your yeah. ham, turkey, that kind of, yeah, it's going to kill it. So, I, and even uh, uh, Oak Chardonnay, I don't think that, that, that works. But if you're gonna have Chardonnay, I would definitely, I think, uh, uh, go with uh, some of the traditional, Chablis. So Chablis, as we mentioned earlier, is a region uh, in Northern Burgundy, and they, they make Chardonnay, uh, all the wines are white, and they're made from Chardonnay grape. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is uh, an oak style, hi higher acidity here. In fact, this is, uh, uh, Chablis is the most austere example of Chardonnay in the world. So, so it tastes almost like a soft blanc. So this is uh, the Grand Vin Blanc, the Bourgogne, so Burgundy, okay? Yes. We're gonna, by the way, sometime in 2023, we're gonna learn how to read these labels. Well, yeah. And, you know, I mean, I know, I kind of know how to read them. I'm sure you know better. We'll get Alex in on the game. So you guys have are empowered when you're going yes. into a store to read this label and understand what you're looking at. Too many countries, too many rules. You can't just go walking in and buying whatever. But, but once you get, uh, get the rules, it, it, it takes a little education. The whole wine world will expand to you. you Absolutely. Then you won't be, af be afraid to try things yeah. once you know what it is. So, uh, this is 2019. Yeah. This yeah. is really, yeah, this is that's probably very tasty. It's very tasty. It's, it's a young wine. And the, uh, these Chablis, they could uh, uh, age 10 plus years easily. For sure. So this is a Chablis, which is a sub-region of, of Burgundy. Uh, and it's a Vailons, which is a premier cru. And the idea is that Premier Cru sites are more uh, complete, complex sites. So the wines that come from specific uh, parcels, they make more interesting, complex wines. So, so this is... This now, is having said that, in yeah. other regions of France, Premier Cru is second growth and, and uh, Grand Cru is first growth, depending yeah. on where in France you are. So don't blanket that. But in this yeah, case, yeah. The, the, well, no, no. Right. This, this is... No, you're right. So Premier Cru here is second growth. Okay. There are Grand Cru... Uh, Grand, Grand Cru is first growth. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, there, uh, it's a very small uh, sub-region, right. and those wines are very expensive. You're, you're sure. talking about ninety dollars and above. That's really the starting point. Right, of those and, wines. and then, it, but it, in conversely, in other regions of France, Premier Cru is above Grand Cru. Am I wrong about that? No, no, no. no it's yeah, Premier Cru. No, no. Premier Cru. Yeah, yeah. Grand okay. Cru is always okay. the highest. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I, I learned something. There you go. Yes. Um, so how much is this wine on your on your website? This is forty dollars. Forty dollars a yeah. bottle. Okay. And you can see on the website, I have all the critical reviews, the bottle shots you recognize. By the way, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon when you want. Uh, we're dropping new content all the time, especially during the holidays. So if you want to keep up with what's going on at Wine by the Bay TV, don't forget to uh, to hit the subscribe button. And of course, like this video, help us out on the channel. Comment if you like what you see here, or if you're looking for something specific and you want to ask about it, um, 
you can go directly to his website. You can comment in the description box. Like yeah. we got all kinds of ways to contact us. Keep it coming because we love the questions. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one. Again, these are honorable mention yeah. ones. We could have tasted all four of them. Yeah. But I didn't want to overload you guys. These are these you're gonna find more professional reviews on. Do you remember the score on this? 93 points from Wine Enthusiast. 93 yeah. points, Wine Enthusiast. And this one got 94 points from Robert Parker. And to me, this is the ultimate Thanksgiving wine, which is Beaujolais. Uh, so we were talking about Burgundy, Chablis in the north. Beaujolais is on the south. Right. And all the uh, white, I mean, red wines in Beaujolais are made from the Gamay grape, which is like a cousin to Pinot Noir. So it's even lighter in body than most Pinots. Uh, great acidity and, you know, the ultimate uh, Thanksgiving dish because it... Uh, uh, pairs with a lot of you know like turkey all the side dishes uh, because of its great acidity easy drinking nice fruit mm -hmm. acidity balance it's a great wine and, and, and you know like a fantastic score for this wine as well yeah oh yeah that's a really great score are you kidding me i mean again you know scores are what they are people can be influenced whatever the case is by the way if you like gamay you should definitely give this Sardinia a shot because it's going to be very similar in style. Yes. Um, I, I feel like the Gamay might be a little bit more fruit forward, but this is a great wine. This is a great really one. This I one. know. It's opening it up, huh? I, I really want to taste yeah. it like an hour from now and really like get into it. Well, it sounds it. like you're taking it home. Oh, well, maybe I am. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, I mean, we've given you four great wines to choose from. There's obviously many, many more. But, you know, around the holidays, it's really difficult, especially if you're not like a big wine person, to come up with something that's creative and that pairs. Because, obviously, a lot of people don't eat turkey all the time, don't yeah. eat ham all the time. Um, so it's not a traditional pairing, but this is an excellent way to go and you can carry some of these into the summer Also as the weather gets warmer and you're serving more salads more seafood that kind of thing All so, of these. Yeah, I mean are, are these available? I know you change seasonally, but do you typically have something at least in this style kind of oil? oil I always wine? have all these grapes I might have you know bring in new producers, you know, there's, there's good producers uh, from the same region So I try to rotate my stock but yeah, the, the, the Canal wine, I, I've had it for, for a long time. I love that wine, okay. year in, year, year out. Okay, and don't forget, I'm gonna give a little picture of all of his social media sites. So you can reach Igor, uh, Venice uh, Reverie, all over the place. All over the place. Um, and you'll find him on Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of thing, just like you'll find us. Uh, do you have, you have a YouTube channel also, right? A little, yes. A little one that yeah. you just kind of do for the members? Yes, uh, I have a little channel, so yeah, if you guys subscribe to it, that'd be great. Uh, and reach out anytime to me if you have any questions about the wines we discussed or just questions about wine in general. So. And don't forget, there's easy parking here. I took pictures before yes. uh, I came inside. There's easy parking here. It's kind of hard to, to see sometimes when you're zooming by, mm -hmm. but you know, take your time. It's here. It's free. It's off street. You can load your car up if you've got to buy a couple cases of something um, and you deliver also locally right yes okay yes, yes. so anything else you want to tell the folks before we sign off well you know i hope you guys have a nice thanksgiving and uh like i said you know please visit the store if you're in the area or air the website is always available 24 7. okay so that's igor george wine by the bay tv and we'll see you again next time happy holidays <music>